Hey, it's Seafood Eater. How's it going today? I haven't done one of these lately, but here's some cool stuff I got recently, and this is pretty much all video game related. First off, I got this complete unbox Game Boy game, Solar Striker. This was actually a Nintendo shooter, which is kind of unusual. I always liked the Game Boy color scheme and the Game Boy art on these early games, so I'm pretty happy to have this, and I've been excited to play this game since I've been watching Jeremy Parrish's Nintendo World, or uh, Game Boy World. So, yeah, got that. I got two PS3 games, and these are Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage, an anime and manga series I've been very interested in recently. It's kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game. And I also got the Shadow of the Colossus and Eco Collection. I'm excited for this because I never got to play Eco or Ico uh, when it came out. And Shadow of the Colossus I actually own, but somehow it's gone missing. I think I let somebody borrow it, and I guess they never gave it back. So, here we go. I got this. It's an HD. It'll look a little better. Cool beans. Who says cool beans? <laughs> anyway, these are some updates to stuff I already had, but I got some new uh, original PS2 cases, so I'm gonna be re-casing this very strangely shipped to me Heavenly Guardian. Somebody on eBay thought these were new. I, she said they had bought them in a store uh, and they were like resealed. So, she shipped this to me and it came in this very strange yellow case. And before she shipped it, but right after I had paid, she actually sent the message before I paid. She said, they're not actually brand new, I screwed up. Um, so I could have backed out, but I had accidentally already paid. I thought it would be okay, but, like, the manual has some little cuts on it. It's nothing major. And then it's in this weird yellow case. It looks kind of cool, but it's not right. So, I'm going to be putting this in a real case. And I also opened up this Intellivision Lives game, and there was nothing in here. There was no game, but I finally got the game shipped to me. So now it's here, and then I accidentally won another one on eBay. So I actually have two of these, but whatever. It looks like a pretty fun game. And I also got some other games that I've wanted for a while. I got Capcom vs. SNK2, Mark of the Millennium. I've been playing this with my friend Rachel. And we've had a lot of fun with this. I wanted this when I was a kid, but I never got it. I was always interested because I saw Kyosuke from Rival Schools, which was probably one of the first Capcom fighting games I ever played. So I was excited that he was in the game. You don't really see him in a lot of these versus games. So it's cool to see him in this game, and it's a pretty fun game. And then here's a few kind of unusual games that I've wanted for a little bit. I got Elemental Gear Bolt. This is actually the second to last game I need to have every working designs game for PS1 and PS2. This is like a sort of fantasy themed uh, rail shooter you can use a gun con with. So I'm pretty excited for that. It's going to be a little tough because I'm going to have to connect it to the very small CRT uh, TV I have. But I'm excited to have it. It's supposed to be pretty fun. It's got pretty cool art and uh, this nice foil working design stuff going on. And yeah, it's the second to last one. I just need Grill Lancer Generation, so hopefully I'll get that soon. Excited for that. I also got these two games that are actually imports from Japan. I got Ori no Ryuri, which is one of my favorite games ever. I played a demo of it a long time ago on a jam pack. It's actually a cooking game. From what I understand, the title means something like My Cooking or I'm the Chef. So, I don't know. It's a pretty cool game, very like cartoony. Uses the uh, analog sticks to do everything, which I think is neat. You had a, a few of those games that were kind of gimmicky in that way, like Ape Escape and this. Um, but I think that surprisingly, both of those games, Ape Escape and Ori no Ryuri, I think did a good job of actually using the dual analog sticks to a good effect. So that's cool. I'm very, very excited to play this. I'm going to stream this. I just started a Twitch channel. It's uh, Efreed Eater. So I'll be streaming this, and I'll be streaming some other games on there shortly. Just watch my Twitter and Facebook for more info. And also, another import game I got was Police Knots by Hideo Kojima. It's a very cool, um, you know, it's like an, a visual novel type of game. Sort of like adventure. Uh, old school, like, point and click adventure. This very, very nice, uh, like, old school kind of anime graphics. Came with the... Uh, spying card and these little stickers I'm not sure what these are and a registration card and the manual and everything's here so that's cool it smells a little musty um, but 
but I'm very excited to have this. I'm actually learning Japanese so I can understand this game. Unfortunately, it was never released in America. They, they were almost doing a Saturn port, and then they canceled it, so I'm going to have to translate it. I know there's a patch, but that's... I don't know. I might do that. It just seems like I already have the game. Might as well just play it from the disc, but... We'll see what I do. Anyway, I'm pretty excited for that. Police knots. And then, here's actually a local thing, and it came from Kickstarter. There's a, a company called Retrotainment Games. They run a store called Cash and Culture here in Pittsburgh. And they just released this game, Haunted Halloween 86, The Curse of Possum Hollow. It's a game that kind of resembles River City Ransom. I have their previous game, Haunted Halloween 85. And this game just arrived, it was just released, and I also got the pin that came with it. And I got this pretty cool t-shirt. Has the title on it and some nice uh, pixel graphics. Very excited to play that, but my NES isn't working too well right now, but we'll see what happens and try to get it working. And finally, here's some hardware stuff related to gaming. First up is the Street Fighter 15th Anniversary Controller for PS2. I already have one of these sealed, and I didn't really want to open it, so it's nice to have one that isn't sealed. It has a cool holographic Ryu image there. The controller is basically the Sega Saturn controller, and I think this is a great controller, so it's good. I'm not a huge fan of the D-pad, but overall I think it's a good controller. Uh, placement of the buttons is a little bit weird, but again, I think it's good. It's a little better than using a normal PS2 controller, even though I don't mind that either. And there were actually a few different ones of these released. I know they did like Ken, Guile, Akuma, Chun-Li, uh, maybe some other people. There were different ones, a, a couple different ones at least for Xbox and PS2. Um, now another controller I got was this ASCII uh, arcade stick or fight stick or whatever you want to call it. A little big here. Um, it's made of metal and interestingly it looks like the top of the original PlayStation which I think is really cool. You have a turbo slider here to determine how much turbo there is. This determines if you're in manual, turbo, or auto fire. And these are the buttons. You can start and select in the always questionable slow motion mode. It's a pretty long cable. I think it's seven feet long. And it's nice and big. Made of metal. I'm excited to use it for fighting games. Um, especially because there are some people that aren't too good with uh, controllers, and I've had some people over that couldn't use the couldn't use the normal controller. The arcade stick also came with the original paperwork, and I like this ad: "Welcome to the arena, PlayStation. Choose your weapon wisely." And it shows ASCII's other strange controllers: the Vortex analog controller, sort of a flight stick. The ASCII Pad PS, which just looks like a different kind of PlayStation controller, and at this point it's not that useful because it's not DualShock. You have the ASCII Pad PS Special, which has some turbo stuff. I had a thing like that when I was a kid. And then the ASCII Stick PS, which is what I just got. And ASCII, of course, is famous for some games like uh, Clock Tower and Kingsfield, so here, here we have an ad for Kingsfield. And it says it's an explosive action adventure story that allows you to wield magics items and an arsenal of weapons in your battles with strange creatures, monsters, and humans on the mystical island of Melanac. I just got that game too, so we'll see what that's like. Finally, finally, I got the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. And unlike everybody else's, I do have the disc. It came with the disc. It was a very good price on eBay with the disc. So I have the Game Boy Player. It's pretty fun. I can play Game Boy Advance games. If you don't know how this works, here's a Game Boy Advance game. Worry aware. Stick it in here. It clicks in. And then when you're done playing, you can eject it. It's pretty fun because, yeah, you can play Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color games on the big screen. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have the same features as the Super Game Boy. You can't do two-player with two controllers, while well, the Super Game Boy you could with certain games, such as Battle Arena 2 Shinden. You also don't have custom borders or colors for the older Game Boy games. Um, you can't really set as good of palettes for the older Game Boy games. 
you're pretty much just uh, using the same you're using the same functionality that you could use with the uh, Game Boy Advance itself. So it has some issues, but again, I'm glad to be able to play Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games, and I'll be streaming those on the new Twitch channel. So again, look for me on Twitch. It's eFreedEater, just like on here. Be sure to like and subscribe and share, and check out my Twitter and Facebook down below. All right, well, we'll see you next time, and you have a good one. See ya. All right, I think that went pretty well. Let's put this stuff away. All right, might need for this for the next video. Somebody's at the door. Uh, I'll go check it out. Hold on a second. Oh man, I forgot all about this. Look at, look at, oh man, look who came to the door. Got a little peppermint. A little ice cream. And a little hen. You saw the last video I did. Well, not, if you saw, if you saw the other video I did about the squishable squish swap, this is the same kind of thing. These are squishables, and uh, I really liked the little bee I got from the squish swap. So I actually got some other ones. Uh, like I said, this is the this is actually the squishable soft serve. It's part of the comfort food line, which are all little foods. If you want to uh, play with your food, you can do that. So that that's this guy, and uh, the peppermint is also part of the comfort foods line. Again, a little food, very, very sweet little fellow. Very soft. Aww. And I also got the little hen, which was part of the open squish, which are squishables designed by the fans. People submitted their own designs, and then the other fans voted on them to see if they would get actually made into a real squishable. And this one was made into a real squishable. So I got all these. There was a special deal for, uh, like Black Friday, so here we go. Got a got a bunch more uh, little pals here. Anyway, I'm actually gonna be signing off now. Sorry about that. Uh, just you know, special delivery and all that. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. See ya.